und What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming here with another one. Yes, another one. And when I say another one, I'm talking about a 3v3 skirmish competitive destiny sweat game. If you guys don't know what competitive destiny sweating is, well, you haven't been to my stream lately, but it's okay. I'll explain it to you here. Maybe it will entice you to come over to the stream. Now, obviously, as you guys know from the title, I will be talking about the updates coming from Bungie the special ammo update my thoughts on it and my thoughts just a small glimpse exactly how today's update was of what the future of destiny is looking like but real quick to just give you guys a quick rundown of the sweat rules no exotic armor is allowed two competitive destiny teams of three match up against one another in classic 3v3 and they play a series out of three five seven whatever you want to make it um no exotic armor is allowed like i stated already um, and class specific guns or exotics are not allowed. Titans aren't allowed to have max armor. The tournament will be playing in this Saturday, um, which is I believe the 13th of February. Actually, they have made their own rules uh, or they've kind of extended it saying there's no luck in, uh, luck in the chamber shotguns allowed. They've also stated that there's no same subclass allowed. That's actually been a norm now for most of the tournaments in Destiny. But it's, you know, I made a video a long time ago about ghetto custom games in destiny that's pretty much what this is for more information on sweating or just rules in general or you want to come check us out as we sweat and the team you see us playing with um i'm on psychologic 666 it's just an alternate account on playstation 4 because it just has the weapons i need for sweating um that's me uh jump out is my brother and Lil sonic obviously um is our third We'll be playing in the tournament this Saturday, so just come on, stop by in the stream if you guys uh, need, want more information on sweating or just want to see a sweat or support us or do whatever you got to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the link is in the description below, as you guys know, but let's get right into it. So you guys know the Destiny update of the ammo, the special ammo. I'll talk about that before I talk about today's uh, weekly update. Um, today is February 11th, if you guys may be watching this on a different day, but the update uh, of the special ammo says in 3v3 uh playlist um there's actually you you do you do not spawn with special so which is kind of crazy if you think about it because this whole time we've always spawned with special so now it's kind of changing the play style of gamers um and if you guys don't know there are ammo exploits for example um the icebreaker the invective obviously then you have your sidearm where you start off with the sidearm or you just switch to the sidearm if you don't have ammo and then when you die you switch back to your uh, um, secondary of your choice like a shotgun or a sniper and you get some ammo back so there are uh, ammo glitches that people can do um, I mean there's pros and cons I'll talk about the pros real fast yeah pros are you'll see more primary use um, than usual especially in the beginning of the game the con is are that once a team takes control of special there's really not much you can do you're pretty much screwed which i guess is is brings a little bit more of a competitive aspect to destiny i'm cool with that at the end of the day um i think primary battles are good but in 3v3 the two main primaries are always going to be last word and the thorn unless bungie hits a big nerf or a big buff on auto rifles scout rifles or pulse rifles as of right now in competitive gaming this does seem to be the status quo so going on now talking about the weekly update of bungie pretty exciting you guys um it was by Dej, um and uh, he pretty much just stated hey guys look forward to some pve content coming this spring it's going to be a dlc we're pretty excited he did state that it's going to be a larger update and it's going to say the content release will feature a significant light increase a bunch of new gear to earn and equip and new challenges for pve players seeking some more fun experiences and replayability that's actually really cool because i'm excited for a new raid i know you guys are excited for a new raid and i think that bungie's doing a great thing focusing on the pve aspect of this game because that's what it was meant for i know everybody's like yo bring custom games bring you know this that honestly the competitive dusty community is not that big 
it's growing, but it's not as big as the PvE community. And Bungie, if they can just keep focusing on the PvE and bringing us new content, it'll actually pertain to the mass of Destiny uh, and, and the public. And then our, us competitive gamers will be cool. We can we can still match in 3v3. Just don't take that away from us. That would suck if they they're like you can't play the same team over again or something. That would suck. You know that'll just make it tough on them. So let's there's a way to get both sides to be happy. You know it's not the easiest thing, but there's definitely a way. So Bungie, you're on the right path. Thank you so much for giving us a little bit of a taste of what's to come. That's all we really need as a community. I know everyone's like, oh, I'm going to be going to The Division, Gears of War 4. That's great, man. Those games are going to be great. I'm going to play them. I'm going to upload those videos to my YouTube. I'm going to try to be a competitive gamer on all of those games and help you guys, you know, become better players on each of those games and, you know, have some diversity on my YouTube channel. I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, please do let me know in the comments below if you will mind that because, I mean, I mean, I love Destiny. I'm never going to leave it, but... I gotta play some new games too. By the way, what you just saw on the screen was... I can't believe that just happened. Anyways, so um, yeah, you guys, so new content is coming. Plus, they're saying that Destiny 2, uh, a full Destiny sequel, will be released in 2017. That's pretty exciting as well. So, you guys, Destiny's future is looking great. I'm excited. I think that uh, Trials of Osiris, obviously, is a great competitive aspect of Destiny as well. So maybe they should bring new rewards um to that i'm sure with the new dlc and the higher light level they will do so so that's going to be exciting as well and you guys know tko gaming we have reached 1900 flawless carries to the lighthouse yes sir our goal is to get to 2000 flawless carries to the lighthouse we will get there hopefully you guys join us in the live stream we stream randomly throughout the weekdays and then friday saturday sunday monday you can always count on our stream being there so be sure to look at the description below check out the links maybe come say hi make sure to follow on twitter because it pretty much notifies you when i upload a youtube video or when i go live on twitch plus random pics of things here and there so once again you guys thank you guys so much stay blessed man uh there'll be more videos coming out and uh just always just keep a smile spread smile spread kindness and uh, i love you guys for all the support big shout out to big cowboy for all that support that he did on the top monthly donator um and i'll see you guys in the next video stay blessed and peace out